Hello and welcome everyone again to another video. In today's video, we have some high elo leaderboard battles from Com Viper. Com Viper is like a, a very good, uh, very solid player. He sent us like multiple videos, like you could find uh, some battles from him submitted into this channel before. And this video, he is running a funky, I wouldn't say funky, I was like a very interesting moveset that paid off for him actually. And he is running much shot polyrath. Imagine not running counter on polyrath, right? Compire was like, no, 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 you guys don't know the sauce. The sauce on this cup is running much shot icy wind dynamic punch on polyrath. Okay, this thing is figuring me. Let, me. let me just fix it. Okay, now dynamic punch has a small side. So, yes, it's a very interesting moveset and it's paid off for him because he's the one who hit leaderboard. Okay, I'm still rank 19. And uh, the team looks very interesting. I like Obama Snow since, like, most of the leads are either Ferrathorn or Polyrath or uh tropius so technically obama snow has a has a very decent play against all of these uh the play that one is, is is not fun and uh before you ask like well, okay i don't have a obama snow what's the better obama snow replacement shadow obama snow but if you're on shadow you don't need icy wind you're on weather ball if you're on non-shadow you kind of need icy wind so in today's video we are about to see i think about 15 battles first lead amazingly opponent swapped into dugong and we swap into the mud shot polyrath Okay, uh, this point that does not have counter, so this matchup is not as comfortable as you would think. Well, Comfy, I feel calling a nice bait, and uh, that was surprising to see that the opponent actually baited here. Dugong players always shield for some reason. You're not supposed to shield if you're running Dugong. Your job is to bait out the Polyrath, as you saw here. So I don't think there's a reason for them, but they are key. they keep going straight icy one, which is kind of tilting. And we grabbed the shield, we grabbed the second one. Comper was like, yo, if you, want, if you want the swap that badly, how about I'm gonna CMP you, then I'm just gonna give it to you. I'm expecting combi, but not shield here at all. Uh, because you cannot win this matchup anymore because your fast move is not doing enough damage and they are just spamming Icy Wind. So now what's the play? I would like to go to Obama's not just like combi, but he did and CMP them if, if possible. A point swapped into a G Weezing. Darian Weezing technically has a play here, but remember that we have two shields. I'm expecting combi, but to catch a move just like you see here. Uh, I like I didn't expect him because that was play. I expected him because he always does like the great plays. Like I'm like, okay, what's the ideal play here? Catching. He's going to catch just like that. Okay, We're calling an oh points letting overheat sludge. They they made sure to be and then top left. Well, good 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 attitude from the opponent. I like that. This matchup is so stupid. Uh, because now Empoleon just wins it. Uh, we swap to the Polyrath. Opponent brings in a Trevenant. Remember that this is not a bad matchup. Because we get to the mad that our charge moves pretty fast. And look how much the Icy Wind did. Opponent decided to over farm. And Polyrath was like, guess what? I don't have counter. I'm faster now. Look at that. They were like, oh, wait, okay. We screwed up. Let's just not shield. And now they have a Roserade. Uh, by the way, this is not a fun matchup for Roserade now. Because Mudshot is unusual. And we get to the own move faster. And we live the Wither Ball. So they have... Okay, I don't think we live the Wither Ball anymore. Uh, we might, actually. Comfort was like, nah, 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 nah. Let, let, me, let me play with the, with, with my food like right now. It's like, okay. Wither Ball. I, as I said, this doesn't KO. And we get to another Icy Wind. Holy that. Take a break. You're just sweeping an entire team, my friend. Oh, my. Get two shields. Kill the Pokemon and a half. And now... We are just waiting, just waiting, and then I think Jellicent can live, uh, sorry, Obama can live a move here, by the way, because they are double debuffed, right? Look how much it did that. It did some respectable amount of damage. A point about in an Empoleon. I like this play because now this will put them in hex down range. So we're going to Jellicent, and I don't expect him to throw anything here, just com commit to fully farm. Uh, maybe just double up, like get to 100. Maybe at that point we can just throw, so let's see. Yeah, we technically easy live this, and all we need is one Shadow Ball onto the Roserade, and we shall win this game. Unless Niantic decide to disconnect Combi, but opponent top left it, as they know, they have no win con. Moving into the next game, we have Obama Snow into Ferrato, and this is a scuffed matchup for both, but Combi decided to insta-swap. Opponent also decided to insta-swap. I said this is awkward for both, so neither of the opponents said I wanted to play this matchup. We went for the Polyrath, we ended the, I, the uh, Icy win, so technically they just called this debuff, unless they have an Acid Spray, which makes it better for them, actually. Now we're going straight for the Dynamic Punch. I think going straight Icy Wind would be fine, but remember that we need to chip this and we cannot go back to the Momama Snow. 
Obama snow. So yes, if we icy wind it, we would have been able to get another icy wind. But it doesn't matter that much because we are, we are committing to the hex down at this point. I don't think he's going to shield. Uh, maybe we're just going to insta swap and orbit farming. I miss X. Uh, that was five. So this must be. Uh, okay, that was a mirror shot. I'm like. They do have it, but I feel like this is going to be a mirror shot. Mirror shot doesn't do that much damage, but it's just so annoying because it has a chance to debuff as well, if I am correct. Uh, mirror shot did no damage because they are debuffed right now. And now, from now on, Obama Snow is just going to be, the, just, just going to have the upper hand in this matchup. With no shield in here, this doesn't do that much damage. This, In fact, this is, won't do any damage at all. I'm expecting like, this is like an amazing bait. This is like the best bait scenario. Comb Viper's like, let me bait opponent. Be like, this is the best bait, so I must call it. Okay, I will play by the opponent. And I think this is actually a good play by Comb Viper. That was like the best bait. Oh, that was a tough one. Now, Comb Viper's like, you know what? You called my bait once. I'm going to bait you again. Opponent didn't call the bait. And now Comb Viper's shielding this. And we need to shield the Shadow Ball. We did shield the Shadow Ball. So now what's the play? I have no idea. We need them to catch. They did try to catch, but they were able to get to the move. Uh, ooh, okay, yeah, they, we needed them to catch and we needed them to we needed to farm them as well. That was a tough matchup, to be honest, because they had two core breakers to the team. We're picking up an amazing lead. Technically, this is a neutral lead because Stone Edge hits for super effective and we need to energy ball. So I'm assuming I like this. I like this bait. Because mud boys cannot can never call a bait from a grass Pokemon because one grass should knock out. Opponent had like a a very interesting, very greedy bait. I would say very greedy bait. And Stone Edge hits for super effective. So this should take out the, the, the thing. And now they swapped into Rosary, they swapped out, and now we have Polyrat into Trevenant. We saw that the Polyrat was able to win this matchup because we're just going to outpace and and we're going to debuff them. I don't think he's going to... Sh oh, my opponent is doing the same mistakes as like two opponents ago. So what's the play here? Just keep straight throwing these. Uh, we should live a seed bomb right now, by the way. That's like how good it is to have them double debuffed. Now they don't have shield and now Rosary is kind of tough. Like... Yeah, I think Com Viper realized that he should he should not let them farm him down. I think the best way is like now go jelly, farm, 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 then catch on Obama or just commit to the Shadow Ball, honestly. Yeah, they just commit to the Shadow Ball. They don't have a shield, they cannot catch, and that was a nice game. Moving into the next one, we have Obama Snow into a lantern. Opponent running lantern. They cannot give up stopping playing lantern for a, a team cup. I swear. Like I hate playing pokemons that are dominant in ogl and themed cups like the whole thing about themed cups this is just my my preference by the way you don't have to, to take it i don't like using a meta pokemon that is meta in ogl and themed cups unless it's day one it's because in day one i just make like i focus on making a team that would benefit most of my viewers uh we shielded the scald and now we're just going straight shadow ball i think he shielded just because this thing is just so annoying for his team remember that we are aba weak into the uh tenta uh tenta shielded here and we are going to shield and i'm assuming farming all the way down okay we were able to get three hexes and now oh we died with the move uh just a sec and honestly, like, dying with the move there wasn't a bad idea. Like, wasn't the, the end of the world. Because we cannot allow having Polyrath on the lantern. And look how, uh, like, the alignment, how important the alignment was in this matchup. Where, like, instead of having Obama onto the Maywile and the uh, lantern on our Polyrath, we were able to have Polyrath with Mudshot doing super effective damage to Maywile and Obama into lantern, which completely walls it. Like, they cannot throw any super effective or a neutral move and now moving into hitting 25 4 4 and here come Barber taking a screenshot after a 4 1 nice set okay what's the play now we're just going to go to polyrath i'm assuming they brought a grass pokemon but they forget to check the move set this is a much shot polyrath we get to the move faster now okay uh yo maybe they the aerial ace bait no come is like no no, no. We, we shield we shield he shielded it's a frenzy that was a nice shield I, if I am the opponent, I would just aerial ace and then farm all the way down. Opponent shielded again. So what's the play now? You let this go. 
If the aerial ace, that's kind of like a good for you. Oh my, what a what what a bait call by Conviber. Well, that, that was oh. Why the opponent keeps shielding? Technically, they do live that, and we were able to get another move. So, I think opponent is like opponent at this point lost track of energy at that moment because Parra was just like on steroid, like getting a move every 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 second. <laughs> Okay, now we have the poly that on our jelly scent, which is amazing for our jelly. Jelly is technically technically walls everything about poly that, but poly that is annoying against everything for one reason because it's called debuff. Now we're just going to the shadow ball. I think we need three shadow balls here to KO. We're just going to insta throw here, and hopefully this is a CMP and they do leaf blade us so we can just farm down. So our wing con is basically basically get to an energy ball into the pirate so we don't care about this matchup as much but throwing here would not be a bad idea and we save the shadow ball now this is a tough call okay it's an aerial ace that was a nice call then now the energy ball we do have it and this is supposed to KO the pirate because neither is debuffed they are shadow as well so one hit KO moving into the next game uh, welcome to the YouTuber who just posted and come by with a subscribe to. Okay, Polyrath again. How do we do this? We just go to our to the to our own Polyrath and we just go straight for the uh, dynamic punch. Opponent shielding, realizing that if it's a if it's a mud shot, it must have dynamic punch. And come he's calling a bait. Opponent running counter dynamic punch. That's actually insane. I usually don't expect people to run dynamic punch with counter because it's kind of just a redundant damage and it only benefits you in the mirror. But hey, opponent that benefited them. That was a good play by them. Now we should go to Jalicent, but we need to stall the clock just the way just the way Combiper did it here. And first icy went. Oh my boy, that is so annoying. I wouldn't play this team just simply because it's Polyrat, and I don't like being being. You know, like like my best Polyrat answer is, is something that does not do super effective damage i don't like i usually like to have to do some super effective damage against the polyrath because if you do neutral damage just going to take a skull debuffs uh i think the best the ideal play here is just let them take you out and then swap and there is a tentacle this is very awkward i think there is a case to be made about icy one thing first but if you icy one they will just shield the second okay they shielded the first never mind so icy one thing there is actually a play because the reason you want to icy wind is you want to debuff their jabs did we get to the move we did get to the move okay never mind if we get to the move that was good enough so don't risk it uh we're doing one just for the good timing and then throwing a shadow ball i think we might need to undercharge a bit and leave with like one two hexes and remember that we do have two shields this matchup is not as bad now because we do have two shields but can two shadow balls ko opponent realize that they cannot farm them down and they cannot throw any charge move and this game is just basically a gg moving into the next one we have obama snow picking up an amazing lead into the superior technically superior out bases but remember we can just shield and debuff them converbs like nah nah this is aerial ace it does not do any damage so so he's going to cmp the next one i'm assuming opponent did not throw so what's the play here we keep debuffing and it did not ko wow this is actually annoying well technically now we do live this because they are debuffed and now since they, this is their grass that means it's the only polyrath answer confirm realizing that and it's like let me swap out to my polyrath and then i will just sweep okay they brought in a tenta which is technically a, a counter to polyrath but hey polyrath is about to icy win if you debuff them twice that means there is each two debuffs is one stage of effectiveness so now technically they are both in the same case but tenta can do like better damage because they do have neutral charge moves as well right but that still has resisted charge moves I see one here it does not KO, but I'm assuming he's going to swap out, and there is the lantern. This is a tough matchup for the jelly to win, but it's not the end of the world. But I think it's almost the end of the world. You like you are you are on the edge at this point. Uh, we need to call a bait, but even if we call a bait, we just get farmed all the way down. Yeah, I think this game is just dead. So let's see what's going going to happen. Okay, we have a surf here. He called the bait. And now we shadow ball and I think our own Wincon is somehow farming them down. Okay, we died with the move. Oh, they did not throw. 
Is this K? This should KO, right? Yeah, but the Tenta, we cannot kill him. Uh, that was a good game. Uh, I think he tried his best. I think he get to the point where, like, you cannot come back from that. Uh, Obama Snow is not picking up any lead today. And opponent bringing in a Travenant. Instead of throwing an Icy Wind here. And let's see. Is the opponent here going to let the Poirot throw back to back for some reason? Just like every other one. I'm assuming this one going to be different. Because it's higher ELO now as we climb. With a bunch of positive sets. Uh, we're shielding the Seed Bomb. I think you're supposed to call the bait here. Because you don't care about winning this. As much as you care about getting the shield earlier, which we did. Uh, do we shield this? Uh, usually they don't bait the second one, but they did bait. So that was a nice call by Conviber. Uh, this Icy Wind is supposed to knock them out. I think at that point, you're supposed to swap back to the Obama. Opponent miscounted here, uh, which is good for us, by the way. And now you can just tank a move. Uh, Obama is not farming them down. And now we should... We should just get the hell out of that. And now we're just getting some good energy lead. Hopefully it's not a lantern in the back. And I'm assuming we're just going to stay in until they swap. If they don't swap, we can over farm slightly and then throw. Gel pick doesn't do that much damage. We're throwing in good timing, which is good for us. Opponent still not swapping. What's in the back? Is it a polyrath? I think it's a polyrath. Yeah, it's a polyrath. That was a good game. Moving into the next one, we have Obama Snow Mir. This one, usually the one with the with the better attack wins this matchup. Uh, the one with the the one who wins CMP opponent catching on a Jellison. Uh, this is kind of bad. This is bad. Like, what can we do? Like, I think this is like the ideal play. Just go to your own jelly, hope you win CMP and shadow ball them and call a bait. They shadow balled us. Uh, their shadow ball does not KO. Our shadow ball does KO. So that's like the thing. Uh, we see an, an, under, an undercharge, but it wasn't enough. So what's the play here? Uh, well, we don't have a play technically. We're just going to play that they don't overfun by much. They do have Wither Ball, which is kind of annoying for us. So what's what we're going to do here is basically... Let, I. It's actually a mid team, but they do have... <laughs> They do have the spammier slice slash better moves. They do have counter on Poirath. They do have a, uh, a Wither Ball on their Obama's now. So technically, they out damage us when it comes to damage since it's a mirror team. We shielded a bait. They sh we shielded a nuke. They shielded a bait. Okay. Now we're calling a bait. Okay. It's not a bait. And this dynamic punch is supposed to do some decent amount of damage, but it won't be enough. So I think this is a rough game. And we died with the move. Opponent is swapped back there, Obama. They catch the move, but it doesn't matter. This game is GG, so I, I'm assuming he just gave up and there was no point of continuing. So I think that was the last battle. So thank you so much, everyone, for watching. That was a 3-2 set. Uh, he actually s uh, made it, I think, from 2400 to leaderboard ELO, like bottom leaderboard, with this team. So feel free to use it. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like, leave a share, and subscribe. And uh, Kum Viper, thank you so much for sending me these amazing battles. Uh, good luck with your push. And see you guys in the next video. And if you are interested in submitting, sending me a footage, especially since Great League is coming back by this Friday, there is a link in the description below. Make sure to submit if you are interested. If you aren't, hopefully you will be one day. Thank you so much for watching, and see you in the next video.